Hello guys, finally I have time for my predictions for Notche UFC this Saturday in Las Vegas in the square. What an amazing event. I don't know if you guys were watching the press conference already and the weigh-ins, but this is just amazing. Like what the UFC is doing over there is like a big, big, big event for the MMA sport. And uh, I think the fight card is more than worth it. So let's go together through the fight card. Um, I won't speak about the early prelims. Even if uh, Raul Rosa is fighting there, the young kid, I don't know if you guys remember. Um, we will start to talk about Irene Aldana against Norma Dumont. They are um, ending the prelims. It's the last fight on the prelims. And um, man, it's so hard to say because Norma Dumont, they are talking a lot that she's not that tough that she's not um, like a finisher, you know. Um, but at the end, she won her last two fights against Dumont and against Rosa. So, um, via decision, obviously. But I would say she's prepared for Irene Aldana. Irene Aldana, uh, she was one... Actually, she was one of my favorite fighters, Mexican fighters. Then against Nunes, obviously, I was pretty disappointed because uh, she wasn't uh, showing up with her performance. But she won afterwards against Rosa. So um, it's a hard one. Aldana is ranked number five. Dumont is ranked number eight. And I would go, just because of the Independence Day of Mexico, I would go with Aldana. But we will see. She has a good striking, actually. So just against Nunes, she wasn't possible to show it. I don't know why, but uh, she has a good striking. Then we go uh, Ronaldo Rodriguez against Oat Osborne. That's a fun one, because in the press conference, these two guys were on fire. If you didn't watch the press conference, watch it again. And you have to watch this part. Ronaldo talking to Osborne that he will finish his career this Saturday. Osborne is coming from uh, losses. And for Rodriguez, it's the second fight in the UFC. Uh, he's a young, upcoming talent from Mexico. Uh, he's 25 years old, so he's pretty young. And I would go with Ronaldo Rodriguez for me showing up in the press conference like this, pretty self-confident, I would say it's his win. And maybe the end knockout could be possible. Then let's talk about Daniel Selhuber versus Esteban Ribovic. That's an interesting one because Esteban Ribovic, I don't know if you guys saw this short video on my Phytology channel, but... Um, he had an amazing, an amazing knockout in his last fight. It was everywhere as well on my side. And um, against McKinney, a young guy. But Ribovic is coming from two wins. And with his last win, he was just shocking. Just shocking uh, Dana White and Hunter. Um, he won after 37 seconds. Um, and like I said, this knockout was brutal. So you have to watch it again. Check it out. It's on my on my Phytology Instagram channel. And um, I'm sure you will be surprised about this warrior. But he will fight against Selhuber. Uh, Selhuber, man, he was winning against Prado. He was winning against Giagos. He has uh, three wins, a uh, three win streak actually. Um, I would say, oh man, that's a hard one actually, because one is Mexican, the other one is Argentinian, I guess. Yeah, it's Argentinian. I would say, even if Este that even Esteban is like a warrior and he had an amazing knockout in his last fight, I would go with the odds and uh, I would go with Daniel Selhuber. I think. He has a good reach, 
a good fighting style to win against Esteban. Esteban is opening up a lot when he's attacking and I think Salhubu can win this fight um, via decision. Let's say via decision. Then, one of my favorite matchups ever, Brian Ortega against Diego Lopez. Number third ranked against number 13 ranked. Diego Lopez, he's fighting for, Brasilia, for, for Brazil because he's actually Brazilian, but he was living in Mexico and he's speaking Spanish and now he's like a Mexican guy. Um, he's a favorite in this fight. I think this is crazy because if you see everybody Ortega was fighting before, he has some big names on his list. I mean, he was fighting against Volkanovski, a war for five rounds. Um, he lost the uh, decision, but it was a fucking war. Then we had a fight against Rodriguez. He was losing once and then he was winning um, in his last fight, actually now in February this year. He was fighting against Holloway, um, losing in round four, but he was still doing a good job. So let's say Holloway and Volkanovski are much more experienced guys, much more technical than Diego Lopez. And in my opinion, Ortega has a better striking, like a more technical striking. I wouldn't say better, I would say more technical. Because Diego Lo Lopez is like a hard one. He's a hard puncher and he has a good and solid striking. But the technique is not like Brian Ortega's striking technique. On the ground, it's different. Um, Diego Lopez, he has a lot of... A lot of uh, experience on the ground. He's a good, good, good MMA fighter on the ground. Um, but obviously Ortega as well. He has arm bars, um, rear naked chokes as submissions in his fight record. So if these two are going on the ground, I don't know who's better. But actually I was thinking that Diego Lopez will win this time. But I changed my mind and I'm going for Brian Ortega. And I think he will submit Diego Lopez. That's a tough, a tough prediction, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous about this fight. And actually, it's so, it's so funny because if you look at Brian Ortega, he's so underrepresented. Like watching all the guys he was fighting, man, I just wish him because of his age as well, that he has a chance to, to win this fight and maybe like getting a title short or something, you know. So uh, Diego Lopez is still young and uh, yeah, I'm going with Brian Ortega this time. Then Alexa Grasso, Mexican champion against Valentina Shevchenko. Crazy, it's the third one. It's a first um, trilogy, um, women tr trilogy in the UFC, I guess. And I think it's a it's a good one because Alexa Grasso was winning the first one pretty clear. Um, then second fight, I saw Valentina Shevchenko winning. So now we have this third fight and I'm going this time with Valentina Shevchenko. Just a feeling because both are amazing. Um, Sean O'Malley versus Merab. Guys, here as well I changed my mind. I was... Pretty sure Sean O'Malley will, will win this fight. His striking is amazing. He has good eye. He's moving fast. Good footwork. Good takedown defense. But I just changed my mind because I think Merab really, really, really wants to be a champion. And we all know what mindset is doing with people in situations like this. And that's why I'm going with Merab. Merab has a pace like... He's just a cardio monster. So I think he will make Sean O'Malley tired with all this shoots to take him down. And uh, he will win against Sean O'Malley and he will be the new champion. Tell me your opinion. Write in the comments. Send me a DM. And uh, let's go, guys. Not to UFC this Saturday.